Hello there. First of all, thank you for choosing to click on and watch my video. I hope you are ready to get flooded with information. This, coupled with my previous video on farms and with my future one, might just, arguably, be the videos that will completely explain farming. If in the last video we talked about the best farm on paper, in this one, we will talk about the best farming strategy using farms. In the next video on this subject, I will cover the other income generating monkeys like Benjamin, Merchantmen, Druids, Snipers, Alchemists, and Helicopter Pilots. By choosing to continue watching this video, you hereby confirm that you understand that this video was captured during the version 27.3 of Bloons TD6, and that you waive the right to complain in the comments section, if or when the data in this video becomes outdated by cause of future updates. However never, regardless of your actions, will you lose the right to pay some compliments to me in the comments section to like the video or to subscribe to my channel. In this video we will determine what farming path or paths, on average, will most likely get you the most money before round 41 and before and after round 61. But of course in order to do that, we must first set up some rules, and by we I mean I of course. Since each track is different and has a different surface area for farms, first rule is that the number of farms is limited to 8. And since we plan to find the best farming strategy using farms and not the best overall gameplay strategy, rule 2 says that we will just build the necessary defense for all the 60 rounds at start, so we will start with money for the defense and one basic farm. Rule 3 states that when we will calculate the total value at the end of the tests, we will not add the value of the defender, and we will deduct the money generated by popping balloons and end round money. To find out how much money is generated by popping balloons and end round cash, I've just built a defender and watched him kill all the rounds. Doing that, I found that by killing the first 60 rounds you get 54,484 money, and for killing the first 40 rounds you get 16,856. I'm a genius, I know, I know. That being said, we will begin our journey into monkey economics by finding the answer to a question that bugged me for a while, what is the fastest way to get 8 pieces of 200 farms? Do you think it's better to go for all 100s first since they have a higher income per round per cash spent than the 200s, and then to upgrade them? Or to upgrade to 200s as soon as possible? Let's see. So here I went for building 200s one by one. This took 22 rounds to build the 8 pieces, and I was left with 47 money. Now I will go for 8 100s, and then upgrade them to 200s. By the way, if at any point during this video, you find yourself doubting any of my findings, you will be pleased to know that my study has been thoroughly peer-reviewed by all my alter egos. So, when building 8 100s first, and then upgrading them to 200s, after 22 rounds, I ended up short with a 100 instead of a 200. So, we can safely conclude that it's better to go for 200s, one by one. Knowing this information helps a lot in the process of finding the best farming strategy, because instead of testing 20 strategies each time starting from level 1, we can now start at level 23 with 47 money and 8 pieces of 200s. In the pursuit of finding the best farming strategy, I will first try to find the best strategy for each path, top, bottom and middle for 40 rounds and for 60 rounds. After that I will try to see if I can combine the paths and the building order to find the optimum strategy. Here I have tested strategy 1. From 8200s to 8220s to 8320s and then just upgrade to 420s as much as possible before the end of round 40. When analyzing a strategy, we will do the required math to find the following indicators, total value at the end of round 40 or 60, total cash generated by farms and average income per round. To calculate the total cash generated by farms from the total value, we will deduct the money generated by pops and round cash, and also the money used for the first 000 farm. Using this indicators, we will compare all strategies and conclude which one is the best strategy. We must keep in mind that even though the best strategy we find in this artificial environment will also be the best strategy for normal games, the values we find will be lower in a normal game. I will not bore you with showing you videos for all the 28 different strategies I analyzed, I will only show you the best strategies for each path and the best mixed paths. 
If you want to compare each of the 28 analyzed strategies at the end of the video, just like in the last video, there will be a poorly designed spreadsheet. You are now looking at the best top path strategy for up to round 40, which ends up also being the best single path strategy up to round 60, compared to all other single path strategies. Here I one by one upgraded the 8200s to 300 to 320. After all 8 are upgraded to 320s, I upgraded as many as possible to 420s. After round 40, our indicators look like this. The total value is 75,646. The total cash generated by farms is 57,730, making that an average income per round of 1,443. For strategy 4, I started at round 41 with identical farms and same money as at the end of strategy 3, because strategy 4 is basically strategy 3 continued up to round 60. So for this strategy 1 kept upgrading all the farms to 420s and topped that with a 520. Our indicators for this strategy are this, the total value is 412,561, the total cash generated by farms is 357,017, and the average income per round is 5,950. This strategy is the best single path strategy for up to and beyond round 60. Before we turn our attention to the bottom path farms, I would like you to know that I haven't suddenly lost my ability to count but that the number that you see next to a given strategy is the correspondent of that strategy in the spreadsheet. On strategy 7, I went from 200 to 203s and then to as much 204s as possible before round 41. After doing so, I ended up with the following numbers, the total value is 81,986, the total cash generated by farms is 64,070, and the average income per round being 1,602. I have found this strategy to be the best single path strategy for up to round 40, both with and without monkey knowledge. Moving on to my biggest disappointment, we find ourselves talking about strategy 13. That's right Banks. If in my first video Banks were the stars of the show, in this one, they are the black sheep of the family. For up to round 40 they aren't the worst nor the best, they are just mediocre. But for up to round 60, as you are about to see, they are number 1. If by number 1 you mean the worst possible out of all the tested strategies. The path for strategy 13 is 200s to 8230s to 240s and 1250. Doing the math for this strategy we get a total value of 270,719 total cash generated of 215,175, and an average income per round of 3,586. It's time to see what is the best no monkey knowledge farming strategy for up to round 60. This is strategy 19. Here we go for 8200s, and then we up one to a 203, and the rest to 320s, and to 420s. We then up to a 204 and top it up with a 520, after that we also max out the bottom path 1. With this strategy, I was able to reach a total value of 429,276. Total cash generated 373,732. So an average per round income of 6,229. So far we analyzed single paths and mixed paths with no monkey knowledge. It is now time to also add the monkey knowledge component into the equation. Here, when only using farms and no village, the same strategy is best for up to round 40 as well as for up to round 60 and beyond. This strategy is strategy number 24. This means that we start with building 7200s and 1023. After that we up a 200 into a bank and keep upgrading the 200s into 320s, and to banana research facilities. After all three two zeros are up into research facilities, we get our central market. Then our banana central and the monkey wall street. After we got our banana stocks trading on the market, we go for monkey nomics. 
With this strategy, I got to a total value of 479,459, because farms generated a total of 424,030, that meaning an average income of 7,067 per round. We've reached the last strategy tested. Strategy 28 uses 8 farms and 1 village. We start with 8 two zero zeros. We build them in a square shape while making sure to leave room in the middle for a village. After we got our 8 greater production farms, we build a village in the middle so that it covers 5 of the farms, but in such a way that it will also cover the other 3 farms after the range upgrade. After we build the village, we upgrade it to 002. Then we proceed to upgrading all the 5 farms in the village's radius to 320s. After that, we upgrade the radius of the village and upgrade the other 3 farms to banana plantations. From here, we upgrade 4 banana plantations to banana research facilities. Once that is done, we proceed to getting our monkey city upgrade. Then we finish upgrading all the farms into 420s. After that, when we got the money, we upgrade our monkey city to monkeyopolis. From here on, although I built them in the order you can see here, ideally we should rebuild our farms in the order mentioned at strategy 24. Let's check out some numbers. The total value at end of round 60 is 669,335. The total cash generated by farming is 613,906. And the average per round income ended up being 10,232. As I have mentioned in the beginning of the video, although all these strategies were tested in an artificial environment, the building order presented in this video that achieved the highest values should still be the optimum order of building farms in any game that allows you to build 8 farms with the mention that it will just take longer to reach the values shown in the video and on this sheet. Another thing worth mentioning here, is that, even though with monkey knowledge the 023 has a higher income than his 203 counterpart, at least for the first 40 rounds, the bottom path snowballs faster when crossed with the top path. In longer games, the crossing of the bottom path with the middle path is more lucrative. If you enjoyed my sexy voice and my video, please consider subscribing, it means a lot to me. Pack pack out.